joining us for the news at 1130. I'm Sarah French today. A suspect in the deadly shooting of a Charlotte three year old is making his first court appearance. Jacob Lanier charged with the murder of three year old Isaiah Figaro. Last week, CMPD said Lanier and other suspects opened fire into the child's home, killing him and hurting his four year old sister. WCNC Charlotte's Richard Devane joins us from outside of the Mecklenburg County Courthouse. Richard, what's the latest here? Yeah, I was sitting in the courthouse just a short while ago, Sarah, uh, and basically listening to the proceedings of this first appearance. Uh, everything seemed to be normal for the most part, but then the mother actually spoke and said that she was absolutely positive that her son was not responsible for the charges he faces, including that charge of first degree of murder for the death of Isaiah Figaro. We were in the courtroom. This all stems from that incident happening last Tuesday when two cars pulled up and people jumped out of those cars. All this caught on surveillance video and fired some 120 shots or more into the house where that little boy was sleeping. He died at, and was pronounced dead at Atrium, Maine. We can tell you right now he was the second person, Lanier, the second person arrested, but the first one to be charged in that toddler's death. We spoke to his mother asking her had she seen that video. Here's what she and her niece said. He would be in a situation like this, and I, I feel sorry for that family. But at the end of the day, I have unconditional love for my child, too. And I know he didn't do this. I can promise I'll put my life on the line. He didn't do this. I'll put my life on the line. He didn't do this. The mother of five says that her oldest son is a good kid, well-mannered, and she knows why she says he wouldn't do it, because she knows where he was that day. She says she claims that he was in Greensboro. Of course, we'll hear from her, and again, we'll hear what she has to say about that video, that surveillance video, what she has to say about that coming up in 30 minutes. But for now, we're outside the Mecklenburg County Courthouse. Richard Devane for WCNC Charlotte.